when it comes to a new mask mandate taking effect in some schools across Southwest Florida. Yeah, over the weekend, the Lee County School District and private Catholic schools in Southwest Florida changed their policies on masks and will now require students wear them on the first day of school. Right now, we want to take you live to Bishop Verro High School. This is where a group of parents planned a boycott of the mask mandate and said they would send their kids into the school without a mask this morning for the first day. That's where Jessica Alpern is live to tell us about everything that happened. Jessica. Yeah, good morning, you guys. Well, the school bell rang just about a half hour ago behind me here at the front entrance of the school. There was a pep rally going on with cheerleaders and everything greeting students as they made their way in. But there was another kind of demonstration happening across the street, and it was just a group of parents and loved ones who were standing out here in support of a number of students who went inside without a mask on. Now I have a little bit of an update since those parents have left the high school here. I had a chance to catch up with them and ask them how that all went. They tell me that so far they have not heard that it was enforced, that they were reprimanded in any way. As far as they know, the students were allowed to go inside without the masks on. And actually, they even tell me this, that teachers have decided to move several classes outdoors since, again, this mask mandate only applying to indoors here at the Catholic schools in Southwest Florida. Now, those who were gathered out here today say the goal of their kids walking in maskless was to test out whether the school would send them home. And again, they tell me so far that answer is no. Masks are being temporarily required at Catholic schools in counties with a positivity rate of 10% or greater. Last week, the positivity rate in Lee County was 20.8%. But despite the numbers, I spoke with one man who was out here earlier. He wanted to support his twin granddaughters who were part of the protest and who don't want to be masked up their senior year. Well, I'm here to support them. They're the ones protesting this. I think it's an individual right. I don't think anybody should mandate, you know, your personal rights to choose like that. That argument over parental rights is what led Bishop Frank J. DeWayne to issue a new statement saying the optional mask policy needed to be adjusted due to the severity of the Delta variant. He goes on to remind that this measure is temporary and even talked about how online school is still an option if you're unhappy with it. And also adding that when the positivity rate falls below 10%, masks will be optional again. So back out here live, I just want to give you kind of a consensus of what we saw. So earlier as students were making their way in, we saw just a handful were wearing masks. Several were not wearing the masks, but keep in mind they're required once you make your way inside. So we can't say for sure what the makeup looks like indoors, but from that group of parents, just over two dozen or so who were out here, they were among the ones who had students making their way in, kind of boycotting that mask mandate, not wearing a mask, and they say so far they haven't been reprimanded for leaving that mask off. Reporting live in Fort Myers, Jessica Alpern, Fox 4.